Hello, Buns. Welcome back to another episode of Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I am talking about a very frustrating topic. So let me paint you a picture. You're a new bun parent. You've heard all about how bunnies chew on everything. Because side note, they do. Their teeth never stop growing, so they always need something to chew on. So being the amazing bun parent you are, you go and you buy every single bunny toy known to man. Your bunny gets home and they just don't touch anything. And you've now wasted like $100 on like balls of sticks and things. Yes, you do this. Oh. <laughs> I do not want you guys to waste your money like I have. I have an entire, actually, you know what I'm gonna show you. Okay. <laughs> I do not want you guys to waste your money like I have. See this basket here? It is filled with toys and toys and toys. And like, she plays with probably 5% of them. Honestly, she likes the basket more than the toys. Okay, no, no, we're not showing the basket today. Not today. Let's get into the list. So the first toy I have is a Willow ball. Now I will say out of the five toys I'm listing today, I know that Willow is probably the one that might not be like a 100% guarantee, but I will say for Cinnabon, she, as you can see, <laughs> is obsessed with Willow. I noticed that Cinnabon was really into chewing on my baskets. I love baskets. I think they're super cute and aesthetic in my home and I was not really ready to part with them, but Cinnabon would not stop chewing them. So I ended up doing is you can buy Willow baskets. Now the reason I don't have one here with me right now is because Cinnabon, she just finished one, it's, it's gone. But I'll insert a photo here and these are awesome because you can put like forage, you can put food, you can put hay inside. And so while your bunny is chewing on the hay and the food, they can also chew on the basket. Now out of all of my Willow products, the Willow baskets are like our number one thing that she will inhale, but she does like the balls. I think just the Willow balls are a little bit harder for her to get a grip on. So she's less excited to chew it. So if you have a bunny that's like shown some interest in like a willow ball or a willow toy but hasn't gone crazy, maybe try checking out the willow basket. So the next toy, I'm going to insert a photo right here and it's another ball toy, but this one is a little bit of a different texture. I think it's like a husk texture. I bought it on Amazon in a pack of three and this ball right here is the one that Cinnabon just destroyed and anytime I give her one she just chews it to death. I think it has something to do with like it's chewy and crunchy and flaky but it also gives her that resistance she likes. This toy is probably the very first toy Cinnabon ever destroyed when she was a baby and so from then on I just started buying a ton of them. Next up are some items that I have shared all the time on our channel which are these enriched life lollipops. I'm trying to get them out. Oh, it's falling. Everything's falling apart. No! It's these like enriched life lollipop chew toys. Now, something I want to say about these toys is that they are edible. Like these are foods as well as toys. They're made out of Timothy hay. This one has some carrot chunk in it. The other ones I have have apple. There's other ones here that are just Timothy hay. Cinnabon treats these like a treat, which to be fair, you should too. Out of all of the toys I'm showing you today, these are toys that you need to give more in moderation because they're also food-based. Usually I'll give these to Cinnabon if we have like a longer date night or I just know I'm not gonna be able to spend the time with her that I need to that day. They're also really good if your bunny is just like chewing everything they can get their teeth on. Like they're just going insane. Give them one of these and they will be entertained for hours. I'll usually give her maybe like one or two a week, depending on like what we're doing and her like treat consumption. But these are just the best thing ever. One last thing I wanna note with these Timothy Hay chews is I would wait until your bunny is a little bit older to feed them, especially the ones that have apple or carrot in them. I started to feed the like plain lollipops to Cinnabon when she was about four months old. And if you give them one that has like the extra stuff in it, maybe wait till they're about six months. Now the next one is again, something that Cinnabon has already eaten, but I will insert a photo here. It's a clover twist from Small Pet Select. This one is a little bit more just like random, I know. But again, this was one of the first toys I found with Cinnabon where she just went ballistic over it. And ever since I've been like, this is my secret weapon. If Cinnabon's just not chewing stuff. It's made out of clover. It's really simple. It's just like 
a hay grass twisty thing but the clover is just like a sweeter thing than regular hay it's a little bit more of a treat but not as much of a treat as like the lollipops are and i will give her a clover twist it'll be gone in like a day it's such a wonderful thing to give again if you know you're going to be out of town and you have a pet sitter coming or if you just want to spoil your bun a little bit more this is such a fun treat now because it's made of clover and not just like regular hay i would wait until your bunny is at minimum 12 weeks old to introduce it since their gut is still forming cinnabon definitely approves and she has gone through many of these in her time and now my my subscribers will know exactly what these are palm leaf bowls. I have saved the best for last because this is, in my opinion, the best bunny toy you can get. I got these mini palm leaf bowls on Amazon and they came in a pack of like 15 or 20 and it was like $10. So $10 for 20 toys, that is insane. I will give Cinnabon one of these. immediately just starts nomming again i would wait until your bunny is at minimum 12 weeks old to try this just because it's palm leaf and not alfalfa hay which is really all they're eating at this age but it's awesome it really helps grind down their teeth because it's like a thicker material the one note is just make sure when you buy these that they are chemical free it will say it on the tag i'm going to insert in my bio some that we have used that we buy that are totally bunny safe but I just want to throw that out there because this isn't actually a bunny toy it's a bowl you know if anything no matter what i always have a pack of these on hand and it is my go-to toy for cinnabon especially when i notice that she is just chewing on anything she can get her teeth on all right buns that is it for our list please comment down below if you are going to try out any of these toys and i hope that i have saved you the grief that i went through that is spending all of your money on bunny toys that your bunny does not even have any interest in. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We post videos every single Sunday and give this video a big like if you found these tips useful. We hope that you are having a lovely Sunday and we will see you next week. Bye buns.